Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and the sky is blue-black and it is going to rain for sure, for sure. And I am looking for a container of black paint and there it is. And hoping that I have some tools that are handy, clean and not in the bucket. But that may or may not. Oh, there we go. I'll use this. This is my OXO omelet turning spatula. I want a layer of wet paint on the background of this so that I can spread the paint, hopefully, from the edge catcher that's about to deliver it onto my table. Instead of wasting it. I don't know what's going to happen with the edges. I'm not worried about it. But I figured I was going to do something and um, since you're still here, and I'm still here, oh, now I'm done, uh, I'm not going to worry about it. I am going to do what I always do, which is to attempt to move some of that paint right off my edge catcher and right onto the artwork. And there's a good possibility, since there's a lot of orange and purple, that this may not work. But I can always repaint a canvas. So we'll see what happens. I'll get rid of that edge catcher for right now and see if there's another one to be had. Throw that spatula. I'm going to rinse that spatula off. I might need it again in a second. So what have I got? I have this wonderful mica color that I just just mixed up recently and is probably on my Amazon site. The link is under the video. I had plenty of edge catchers, but I've been addicted to them recently, so I've been using them up. I think I'm going to go ahead and give myself permission to add some white. I know as long as I don't have too much brown, I can probably do something with what I've got. love this color and I don't know what's going to happen. I think those two colors will be absolutely fantastic together. It's getting really, really dark. <laughs> I don't want to shower right now. I'm going to let all that go right down there and then tilt it back after running my Yep, that was a mosquito in my ear. <laughs> it's bug day. Bug day celebrating bug independence or something. I'm going to rock that and I'm going to move it down because I need to be done soon. I can tell the rain's coming. <laughs> I'm going to use my finger to knock some of this paint right over the edge now because I'm here right now. And uh, this is a really different, different bunch of colors, but I'm liking a lot of things about it, so I'm not complaining yet. I am going to just let it all run in an odd direction and then straighten out a little bit. You know what? I really want to try something different. I'm going to take that edge catcher with all that paint on it after covering it. I want to put it over here and let it run back into the artwork from a different direction. Because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link, and the wind is coming up. And that's pretty cool, and I wonder if I have, <laughs> if I can get out of here before I get stirred by lightning is what I wonder. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous. I've been out here before when it rained hard. Just watched some old videos from last year. Summer storms are uh, quite the ride sometimes. So it's a different bunch of colors, but I don't mind it. It's kind of cool.
and I want to be able to torch before I'm... Whoa, okay. Hello. <laughs> Microburst. Everything that's not nailed down is gonna is gonna blow away now. <laughs> so that's gonna become a spiral and a waggle, and we're gonna get the heck out of here in a minute. I kind of want some black in there though. Darn. You know what? I think I'm just gonna give myself some blue, some blue and a waggle, and hope hope I can get out of here. Yes. I like that blue. I'm good with that blue. Somewhere down here is going to do it for me. She says optimistically, very optimistically. I like all that. I did get a bunch of my stuff ready to go. I'm a lot nervous about what's going on here. I guess I'm not going to be taking a picture of this in the yard because I'm afraid it will blow away. Wow, this is scary. Not so scary as bubbles in your painting though. You need to torch painting. There's bound to be a few weird things in this one <laughs> when I find it tomorrow. It is what it is. It's a paint adventure! So guys, give me a thumbs up and check out my Amazon link under the video. Look for the Pinterest and the Instagram and the paint pouring recipe. And know that the longer you watch a video, the more likely it is to help me out and keep me coming back for more paint adventures in the weather. I'm going to check my edges because the wind sort of died down for a second and I want to get out of here, but I want my painting to be okay too. OCD or what? <laughs> I love you guys. There's over 73,000 of you. I'm going to... Woo! Don't... No. Can't hold the painting up when the wind comes up because the painting will go away. All right. Well, I know that this painting is... This windstorm is going to be going through for many more hours today. So whatever I do now is the last thing I'm going to be able to do to it now. I think it's time to say goodbye. This is Priscilla Battelle in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard going, thanks for joining me. <laughs> Join me again. Watch some videos. On the end screen, there's a contest. If you, if you enter by donating, you'll be included in it. Woo! <laughs> I gotta go. See ya. Love you guys. Wait. <laughs> this is nuts. I'm, I'm a crazy person. All right. Bye now, guys. I love you. Wish me luck. See ya.